All right, to create a Google Motion Chart, the first thing you have to do is you have to log into your, uh, your personal Gmail account. Uh, just like the, uh, uh, when we were doing the surveys, the forms, uh, you know, your Rowan Gmail account won't work because it doesn't give you access to Google Docs. So once you're in your, your personal Gmail account, we would click the Documents tab. <clears throat> once you're in Google Documents, here's all the documents I have. Uh, I want to create, <clears throat> and the thing I want to create is a spreadsheet. Okay, now within the spreadsheet, the columns matter. So the first column are the bubbles. And for us, you know, for this example, what I'll do is the, the bubble will be a country. The next example is time. And the time by default is a date. Uh, so I will just say that this is a date. And the next column is your x-axis. In this uh, column, I'll say this is uh, income per person. <clears throat> and the y-axis. And uh, we'll say that this is uh, uh, life expectancy. Then if I wanted others too, I could have the, uh, the color and I could have the size as well. So this would be the color and this would be the size. So for instance, the color might be the region of the world and then the size would be the, the population size. So let me just enter a few countries here. I'll say USA, I'll say Mexico, I'll say China, I'll say Canada, I'll say Germany. <clears throat> and also Japan. So there's a few countries. And the thing is, what I want is I want the same years. <coughs> because I want, if I'm comparing these countries to each other, I need this, the, the same measurements within the same year. So I'll say that, okay, well, my first year of, of interest might be 1950. So if 1950, and what I'll do is I'll click on that little uh, box and drag it down. Uh, just copy them. So in the USA in 1950, what was the income per person? Now, I really don't know what that value is, so I'm just going to make it up. I'll say it's 5,000. Uh, in Mexico, maybe it was 1,000. Yeah, probably lower than that. I'll say 500. Uh, in China, maybe it was 275. Two in Canada, <coughs> maybe it was... Uh, uh, 2,600. In Germany, it was probably close to the U.S., maybe a little bit lower, 4,800. And in Japan, let's say uh, that it was about the same as the U.S. Well, no, 1950. So 1950 Japan, it was, uh, it was also very low. So I'll say it was maybe uh, 1,500. All right, then life expectancies. Uh, so 1950 life expectancy in the States was there was 62. So you just continue with this data, uh, and uh, okay. So I added some data. So I finished the data here. I said the U.S. in 1950 had 5,000. Uh, you know, the income per person was 5,000. The life expectancy was 62 years old. It was in North America, and there were 500,000 people. Uh, then if I took U.S. in 1980. I said there was a big drop in, uh, in salary. I actually used a random number to generate this, but, you know, so the, the money dropped way down just on this, you know, this fictitious data I have. I said the life expectancy is 70, the uh, still North America, and 650,000 population. Then the U.S. in 2010, uh, the income per person was 253. Like, so you get the idea. Um, now, if I actually if I hit a delete here, key here, it does recalculate. So I'll recalculate a few times to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. So that's fine. So that's our data. Okay, so once we have our data, then what I want to do is I want to select the whole data set. So I click and drag all the way up to the top. 
you see that it's all blue. Then I do insert. The thing I want to insert is called a gadget. Then what I do is I scroll through here till I come to motion chart and I'll say add to spreadsheet. I can give it a title uh, and I'll just I'll name it with my name. I'll say Farlands uh, motion chart. And I'll say OK or apply. And you see it put it down here. So scroll up a little bit. All right, now when I click on it, uh, this little you know uh, text shows up, and when my cursor is a finger, I can click on that. And I want to move it to its own sheets. So that way, it's much bigger. All right, so here we go. And now I just want to verify all of my axes. So my y-axis is life expectancy. My x-axis is income per person. My color is uh, you know the the continent, and my size is based on size. Uh, and then here are my countries. So at this point, I get to run it. And here it is. Here's my data as it changes. Now it's all fictitious data, so it doesn't mean a whole lot. But you see the size of the bubble is the population. The, uh, the bubbles themselves are the different countries. And you see how the income and the life expectancy changes over time. Uh, so how I would use this is the first time I'd run through it and point out you know, uh, common trends. But then what I may want to do is I may want to say, okay, now let's, look, let's watch Mexico in particular. So I will check off Mexico to add, add a uh, trail to it, and then I'll run it again, and you see what it does. Is it shows me kind of the historical, the path. It shows me the path of, um, that uh, Mexico has taken. All right, perhaps I want to compare Mexico and Japan. So I'm both checked off, and I'll run it. And I can always move these, so I'll just click and drag. Then, of course, the thing to do is to give some kind of narrative. So, describe why it is that both turn down, uh, you know, turn back the income per person, uh, you know, in that particular year. Uh, all right, so that's it. So that's how you do a motion. That's how you create the motion chart. Now, what you do is you go to File. You, sh you say Publish on the Web. First thing it tells you, you have to save it. So I'll save this as McFarland's motion chart. So I saved my spreadsheet. Now it should pop up. There it is. Okay, so now at the top here, it says start publishing. When I click that button, it creates this URL for me. This is what I, I want to copy. So I uh, click and drag to highlight it. I do a control C where I can... Uh, Right-click and say copy, and then I go into my uh, the assignment window or the the email, whatever you, it is you're going to do. In our case, we want to go into the uh, the Blackboard assignment and paste this into our our submission window. So that way, or paste this into your submission window. That way, when you submit it, I can click on it and pull up your uh, your motion chart. All right, that's all there is to motion charts. Have fun.